Oh fuck, probably the Rolling Stones. I don't have one. I, you know, everybody always wants to say black, but that's not really a color. I'd say probably red. Toothbrush. Just one thing, a guitar, yeah. Let's say together. Um, pretty easy. Um, once I'd established that we were going to make a record uh, together. Because, I mean, when I started working with Miles, um, was on my last record, and he sang a couple songs. And that was the first time I met him. And so he was so phenomenal in the studio. I was like, you know, you know I've got to do a tour to support this record. Do you want to be the singer? And he said, sure. <laughs> you know, <laughs> simple as that. And so I found Brent, and Brent introduced me to Todd. And from the first rehearsal, we had a really great sort of, you know, that magic chemistry that sometimes happens in one's career. And uh, so we started off, and then during the tour, I was like, man, these guys are awesome. I should just make a record with these guys. So once we would had that conversation and everybody agreed to make a record, I started riding with Miles on the road. And we work crazy hours. We play like six nights a week, and we travel every single day from country to country. So it's not like we can just hang out and write songs. So I, every spare moment, I record something, that I, an idea that I have, and then I give it to Miles, and then he comes up with ideas. And at the end of the tour, we compiled all those ideas and put together the record. And it was as simple as that. He does the lyrics. Yeah, he's a really good lyricist. So I personally, I, I hate, um, I don't hate it, but I don't enjoy putting my personal thoughts and feelings on paper and, you know, sort of t to put them to song. It's yeah. just not my thing. You never did it. I know I do it. I did it when I was working with Eric, and I've done it if I out of necessity, but I don't like doing it. I seriously doubt it. I would have to have a, uh, a pretty significant change of heart about singing. Because I, I, you know, the same reason I don't write to l write lyrics, I don't like singing, you know. Like, to have to go up in front of a bunch of people and emote. It's okay with the guitar, but yeah. But yeah. Um, and I would have to all of a sudden really feel the need to express myself verbally. Yeah. to be able to get up there and start singing. I've been finding excuses not to sing for my whole career. <laughs> That's not, there's no truth to that. That's some internet rumor. I wasn't inspired by, say, anything in particular. It was, uh, uh, something that came out of a guitar solo. It's not so much anything having to do with, with uh, practicing per se, but I, I, you know, I've been, I spend a lot of time on the road, and so I'm always playing, especially because I don't spend all my time in the bar. And so I would imagine a lot of that has, has influenced, you know, you know, when I was in the studio, that whole year and a half of, of uh, touring that I did with these guys before we made this record mm -hmm. had to have rubbed off on, you know, how I played in the studio. Yeah. But I find that the best practice that I get is from going out and, and playing live. Because I'm useless when I'm sitting around the dressing room. Not, not consciously. That's interesting. I, I wouldn't even know what a harmonic minor scale is. I have, a, I have the signature amp and I have a JCM 800 and I just run those two. Yeah. And, and that's basically it. No pedals at all? Mm -hmm. Just straight? I mean, I have a pedal for live, for solos, that's just uh, steps up the, the level a couple dBs. Yeah. Um, 
I have a wobble pedal and uh, I have a, an octave pedal that I use for a particular thing and I have a chorus mm -hmm. I use for a particular thing. But 99% of the time it's just, it's just the two amps and the guitar. I was, it's funny you should say that because I was staring up at the back of the heads yesterday waiting before I went on yeah. looking to see what heads those were. Yeah. I'm not really totally sure. Yeah. That's sort of a throw and go setup. It tours with the Sabbath. It primarily came out of the fact that, Ozzy, uh, that uh, Tony got sick when he did and they had all those shows booked. And so Sharon was like, what are we going to do? And so eventually they called me up and said, well, I'd come in and help out with the, the thing. So. Uh, no, because I'm touring as well. And so certain shows like, like Hellfest and, and uh, Grass Pop and a couple of other of those festivals, I played either the day before or earlier in the day than Ozzy. So I would get back up and play with him. Yeah. Um, but certain sh certain nights I had shows on my own yeah. that I couldn't play with Ozzy as well. So I only played the ones that I could do. So it's like nine shows. They weren't necessarily bad hours. The smoking one's the hardest. Yeah. I'm still on, I mean, I probably will, always will be on nicotine supplements of some sort. I've been doing Smiths now for the last three years. Well, Smiths is this stuff you get in Sweden. It's like, the, it's like chewing tobacco, but it comes in little pouches and you just suck on it. Well, I remember that I got it because I still yeah. have it, but I just didn't remember it was in Vienna. Not in the last couple of years. No. Last one I last time I got one was on my chest somewhere. That was like three years ago. I think someone recommended him when we were here, yeah, yeah. and I was like, okay. I mean, God, now there's so many tattoo artists. It's gotten yes. to the point where. I can't even, I don't even know who's who. And, well, see, somebody probably told me that, and I was like, okay, cool. It was an idea that I had, and, it, you know, um, because of all the different information that's in there, stuffed into an album cover, the way that, I, I, I'm sort of attracted to those kind of badges, you know? And yeah. so that's why it looks sort of like a tattoo. I sketched it. I didn't do the painting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I still draw, but I draw more out of necessity. Mm -hmm. So I design the album covers. I design the logos for the band or, you know, anything that the band needs artwork for. And I've been doing that since uh, Guns N' Roses first started. 